I associate account number 44,000 in my scenario to be the expenses. Guess what? You could have multiple accounts for different categories, like computers, like desks, chairs, scissors, whatever. You could have separate accounts for each. For simplicity, for the entire root of this category, I use 44,000. If I switch back to accounts payable now, I go back to the pending vendor invoices, and now, right there and then, first, I could have just posted, it will work perfectly, but in order to prove the concept to see what has happened, I edit this again, go to the financials tab, click on a sub ledger and verify the previous discovery. You had three lines before, now you have two because indeed everything's balanced because you do have an account associated with your purchase expenditure for expense. So this is ready to go and you can now post this and indeed for this demonstration, I'd like to print the vendor invoice for you to see how it would look like. I click post and the invoice gets printed. You can also verify the financial dimension setting that has been defaulted yet you can change them either on the header side of the vendor invoice or on the line view you could do so and if everything's accepted you can just post it and the vendor invoice will be printed for you using SSRS reporting. The logo of the company, the lines, the total amount, everything gets calculated. Of course, I'm not considering sales tax or anything at the moment, but now you see that the pending vendor invoice line is disappeared and now will appear on the open vendor invoices. However, it's time to check the transactions. The 4,500 euros on the trial balance is not being appeared, even though the transactions have been posted. If you take a look at the vendor summary account, you see 600. What happened to my transactions? How come they're not here? Well, they are located somewhere else. Let's go do a bit of an investigation. If I go back and take a look at a specific form called subledger journal entries not yet transferred, you see that system separately maintains those transactions and they're not showing it to you on an actual journal ledger. So the transactions are there. They are just not reporting it on the actual layer of the journal ledger. They are stay in a subledger. So you can still pay for it, you can do whatever you like, but they're not being reported. Some companies, they may say, 